Ready to colorize your polygonal animal? Hi, this is Chelsea from Digital Art Teacher, and this is part two of our two video series on creating stylized animals made entirely of polygonal shapes. In this video, we're going to use the eyedropper and the selection tool to add color. Now that you have your polygonal shapes all drawn out, you can make it so that you can only see the shapes by turning the visibility off of the image. Now it's time to go ahead and start making your shape colors. In order to do that, you're going to select the first shape with the selection tool. Then you're going to select the eyedropper tool to select a color within the shape that you've selected. Select the eyedropper by pressing I. If you're not satisfied with the color that you've chosen, you can use Command Z to undo your last action. Then you can select a new color. When you're happy with the color that you've chosen, go back to your selection tool with V and then select your next shape. So you'll be going back and forth with I and V to select shapes and colors as you go along. If it's difficult to select the shape that you're looking for, hover over the shapes with your mouse, and then when you see it highlighted with the bounding boxes, click with your selection tool to select that shape. If you need to, you can click and drag over two different shapes and then hold down shift and deselect the shape that you're not going to be working on. As you go about selecting colors for each of your shapes, try to think about selecting a color that kind of captures the essence of the colors within the shapes that you've created. Another thing to think about is how these colors are going to work together with the shapes that are around them. So if you choose a color that you like, but it doesn't really go with the colors around it, then you may want to undo and choose another color based on the shapes that are surrounding that shape. It's a bit of a creative challenge. You don't really know what you're going to end up with in the end. But if something ends up not being quite the way you want it to be, you can always change these colors later. Now, if you come to a point here, like I did, where I feel like these colors are just not looking good together, they contrast too much, or perhaps for you, the colors just don't really look good together, select the shape, go over to your color picker, select none for your fill color, and then go back with your eyedropper and select a new color. For a little perspective, sometimes it's good to pause for a moment with your work and go over to your image and turn off the visibility. This will allow you to see exactly what your final product is turning out to look like, and then you can continue on with your work. Sometimes it's just helpful to see how far you've come.
As you come to the end of your drawing, turn off the visibility of your image so you can see your drawing clearly. You may find that you've got a couple of things that you may need to fix. If so, you can come to the pen tool, add points wherever they're needed by clicking along the path. In order to move those points, simply hold down Command or Control and click on the point and move to the desired position. You can use this technique to add points along the path, as I've shown here, and you can use it to move the anchor points. That concludes our series on creating a polygonal animal. I hope you enjoyed learning with me, and I encourage you to come see me at digitalartteacher.com for more awesome lesson ideas. Bye for now. Thank you.